So this is a quick before and after, so you guys can see that it actually works. All right, guys, step number one, get Rune Client. It gives me the most FPS and it has Optifine and Sodium and a lot of other useful mods. Check the link in the description for a download link or just search up Rune Client on Google and download it. It's available for Mac and Windows and Linux. All right, guys, next step on to install Linux client. Just click on the settings tab and then add more RAM. So I have a video where I compare different amounts of RAM for Minecraft. And what I found out is that you guys don't need more than four or two gigabytes. If you guys don't have any mod packs, I have it on 3.5. Alright guys, next step, click on this arrow on the launcher and then we pick your version. As you guys can see, they have all 1.19 versions and they have Sodium and Optifine. So you guys could just try out both and see which runs better on your PC. So for me, usually, I get more of this on Optifine, but Sodium is more stable. So if you guys have like shaders or anything big, then use Sodium. So yeah, just test them both out with my settings and then pick one. Because I'm going to be showing the settings for both. So we're going to be using 1.20. Make sure you guys pick Optifine or Sodium, whichever you guys like more. And then click on Save Options and then launch your game. So Alright guys, let's get to the Optifine settings. As you guys can see, I have like 2000 FPS right now. Here, let's just go to Options, Video Settings. Now, before you guys copy this, make sure to screenshot your old settings in case something goes wrong. Details, Animations. You guys could turn them on or off. Depends on what you guys are doing. Quality Settings. Performance is the most important one. And Others. So just copy the settings. And if you guys want more FPS, then turn on your FOE. But I don't think it matters that much. So I just keep it on 80. And yeah, just like that. You guys get 2000 FPS. You might get more than me because I'm recording. Not bad. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm on sodium right now. As you guys can see, I have about 1000 FPS. Gets to 2000 sometimes, as you guys can see. So these are my settings. As you guys can see, you guys could just follow them. So random distance is the most important thing. So if you guys are playing online, you guys could turn to 8, depending on the game mode. If you guys are playing Bad Wars on 8, or 6, or 7, I usually play on 8. And the GUI skill is kind of important too. So if you guys like make it smaller, then you get more FPS. Because the less stuff you have on your screen, the more FPS you get. Because it's easier to render. So yeah, you guys can just copy my settings. Particles, you guys could turn this up, depending on what you guys play. Cement clouds, if you guys want clouds, then turn this on. Performance, turn like almost everything here on. This depends on your PC. If this makes your game crash or it makes it look weird, then turn it off. And make sure I allow direct memory access is turned on. And yeah, async. I'm gonna make a different video about shader packs so yeah, subscribe for the best shader packs for low-end pcs because i found a few that work on any pc all right guys let's get to the luna settings click on the right shift key on your keyboard or just go to escape and then click on luna options and these are the luna mods you guys can turn them on or off i have everything off because you don't really need them and the less mods you have on the more fps you get but there are some useful mods here like waypoint mods just look around here and find something you like as for settings general doesn't matter let's go to performance and yeah, just copy my settings. Hide foliage, hides tall grass, which makes you get more FPS. Enchantment glint, I have I have it on, but you guys could turn it off. If you guys are on a really bad PC, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Is junk loading? If you guys want more FPS, then just turn it on lowest. But I have it on vanilla because it just takes way too long to load. Limit on focus FPS if you guys like don't want to destroy your graphics card or your CPU. But it's not important. I just have it on so that my PC doesn't overheat. You can turn you can turn this to lowest if you guys want more FPS, but I don't need that, so I just have it on vanilla. Show ground arrows, you guys could turn it on or off. It's preference, but you guys get more fps if you turn it off i turn it on oh by the way guys if you guys are using luna client and you have like chat on and it has like an option which allows you to turn off background opacity then turn to zero because then you guys get more fps because there's no background so yeah, i was turn off background opacity to zero doesn't matter what you're doing i'm pretty sure they have it on tab editor too as you guys can see so yeah just turn everything zero all right now if you guys want to support our channel but you guys don't have to then, then you guys could get my luna client cosmetics link in the description or just leave a like and subscribe that would help too and make sure to comment down on your fps before and after this video i'm also giving away some of my luna cosmetics so yeah, make sure to keep on watching to learn how to join the giveaway. Alright guys, let's get to some extras that you guys could do to get even more FPS. First off, make sure you guys use 16x packs because they give the most FPS. But if you guys are not using 16x packs, then just use the default pack. And if you guys want to find the best packs for FPS, then make sure to check the pinned comments or description. And also make sure you guys have background apps off if you guys have a really bad PC like closed Chrome, which eats up a lot of your RAM and Discord. They just don't have anything open in the background. Now let's get to some Windows tweaks. And I'm gonna add a warning here, but if you guys want more FPS and turn up your power options. But if you're on a laptop, don't do this because you might break your batteries. And on a PC, don't do this unless you guys have good cooling. So just go on your 
windows and search for power and click here and then additional power settings and then click on change power plan you guys will have something else here but it doesn't matter just click on change power plan change advanced settings and then go to process power management turn this to 99 or 100 and turn this to 100 but don't do this if you guys have a bad cooling i'm not responsible if you guys break your pc so yeah if your fans get spelled out turn this back to default and yeah if this video helped you out then make sure to leave a like and subscribe because that would help me out a lot and i'm making a video on the best shaders for low-end pc so yeah make sure to subscribe for that